Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of you 4 as Spain, once Aragon. We already secured long ago the uh, Aragonese Consulate achievement, but we're still now pushing towards the Roman Empire, among other things. Uh, let's see, Portugal should have an army, but where the heck is it? Let's see, that not, that's not the ledger. There we go. Portugal! You should have some forces somewhere in the world. Most likely they're all in South Africa. 30,000 troops, I can see four of them. So I'm gonna guess that the rest of them are down here in South Africa. Uh, do you still have one in exile somewhere? I don't remember them having some troops there. Nope, no troops in exile. Not that it really matters. And we'll see what we can do. The next claim is going to cost 45 points. 25 points, yeah, there we go. It's going to take a while. So, first now we're just going to wait for this. No longer have the disaster, but of course we do have disloyal subjects, and of course they do want more land. Can't give it to them until the disaster is quite out of reach. That's gonna take a while. It is ticking down. Didn't the war taxes expire? Alright, that's tied to the exact date, so that on the 16th, that's just in a few days now. There we go. We won't renew that. We are just gonna devour France. Not unconditional surrender. Um, take all your lands. Evoke all the possible cores. Take even more money, because why not? France and Lorraine are gonna be pissed, but no other nations whatsoever. I didn't actually wait to check. I did it was beneath 100% coring, right? Suddenly... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, far below. Far below. Uh, that's fine. Also, suddenly afraid of overextension. And sure, just oh, we didn't even, didn't even have to do that. That's because of friendly troops. Yeah, raise autonomy. That's fine. The next in line is this. I can save the points. Uh, when are we going to declare war on Portugal? Uh, truce expired in October. I'm going to declare war in... France no longer exists. Did do a full annexation, didn't I? Did I? Did they have some kind of overseas possession I missed? Or is it just... Oh, there we go. They're going away. Never mind. Okay, your friends. Your friends with Salzburg, I remember. And Lorraine. Lorraine is a nothing. More or less. Salzburg is a bit more than a nothing. Uh, right, I can't actually get there. Since I broke the military access thing. They'd still give me that, though, so... Get through Austria, that's fine. Nobody else are having issues. Do I want to take Miltek ahead of time? Oh, so tempting. But if I do that, it's going to take a couple of months to tick up. The morale and everything. Constitutional monarchy, huh? Okay, we're past you. We don't really need the mill access. Cancel that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we were supposed to build cathedrals, weren't we? Let's build a couple over here. Expand these. I mean, I'm not min-maxing this. I should just go for the ones where we actually have states and <laughs> where the autonomy is low. I know. But... Mm. I want to build them everywhere. And eventually we'll have money for that, so why not? We should have enough points now to make another claim. Uh, Algarve, because of Forge. But uh, actually, Beja is probably more developed. Yeah, I, I will. No matter. I'm fairly certain we're going to be able to take all these five provinces, and that's all we need to take from them. Let's see now. What else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, we're fabricating all Austria. That's fine. I. Could devour Utrecht. Indeed, why not? Just to get rid of that. Mini put state. Uh, of course, we can't do anything with Saxony yet because that's only a recent union. And of course, we can't do anything with Elodia since we don't bore them and we can't bore them. Not till Kaffa is sorted out. It would be beneficial for me to just claim their throne and attack him, but, uh... Nah. I'm gonna be nah about that for the moment. I'm gonna be content enough that they are our dynasty. There's the truth of Portugal. We're gonna wait until October, then we're gonna take the Miltech. Upgrade our units. Our navy should have gotten the full morale again. No, actually, no, but they're certainly getting there. Well, it'll take three months before they have full morale. And we're gonna go with that now. That is ahead of time, I know, but it's okay. And what are we gonna go for then? Let's see. One, two, four, three, four, four pips. One one four 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 four. One one five three. I'm gonna go with the dragoons because they were the most balanced ones. Three three two two three three. I'm gonna go with the Carolinians. Because of their offensive abilities, we are the strongest army. We are the strongest, stronger army now, so it's advantageous for us to always be on the offensive, since we want to crush the enemy armies, and we should have the numbers to do that in every engagement. We're not going to defend, so yep. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, we're now going to wait until the end of the year. But then we should have gotten more morale up and take, going. So we can take the uh, advanced CB option and go to war. Oh yeah, you have to stop because... <laughs> well, that is true. I upgraded my units, so of course they, the marching ones had to stop. Uh, Casa de what? Oh, cool! Global settler chance, and oh yeah, I'll take this, thank you. Spanish event. So yeah, we'll wait for the end of the year so that this will be a tiny bit cheaper. Then we're gonna go for it. Ideally, we'd want to have measuring the world before this, but uh, given how spread out Portugal is, we might get that during the war. 87. Yeah, that's feasible. It's going to take a long time to get Portugal down. 
Portugal and France. I mean, Brunei is <laughs> not really within our sphere of influence. Same with Kilwa. Taking this stuff is going to be easy as hell, but everything else is going to be a bit iffier. There we go, advanced until two. Yeah, grab it. Mm, the CBs don't tick in until the end of the month, do they? No, so we'll wait. Oh, Russia, please stay arrival. Please just stay around, arrival until that point. Come to think of it. Let's keep one over there. Okay, now we should have plenty of... Uh, plenty of CBs, right? Yeah, we have a few imperialism CBs. <laughs> With every state in the world, by the looks of things. Even the ones we don't border. I thought it was only those we border. Okay, that's cool. Um... And our troops have regained morale, and it doesn't really matter because we're not really gonna fight anyone of note. I'm gonna put you in charge here. And you here. And the last two generals are gonna be up here. Especially the 4 4 guy. Another reason for that is I don't quite know what Salzburg will do. Um, are we spending diplo points at the moment? We are. Since we're integrating Utrecht, I should probably finish that before we take another idea. Because these won't really help us. I mean... What are we going to use them for? <laughs> I suppose we could get a Conquistador and see if we can hunt for the new... <laughs> Hunt for the good stuff. Very unlikely we'll get anything at this point. Um, we could circumnavigate the globe. Because I don't think anyone except Portugal have done that. I haven't seen anything on that, at least. Um, regardless. It is Portugal that is next on the menu. Heck with it. Let's get the diplomat back again. And then let's get this party started. Fleet, get out there. Oh sure, now the Pomeranian King died. Buh. Uh, no, right. Free Diplomat. Uh, let's see, Flat Conquest, that's 75% aggressive expansion, or 100% actually. Uh, nationalism is 50. Imperialism is 75. Oh. Well then, so we can take that and all your colonies for cheap, but not these two. But I can still take them, right? All provinces in the culture group, it shouldn't prevent me from taking the rest. Let's take Lisbon. We're gonna do that, even though that's the hardest target. Uh, your allies, I don't really give a damn about any of them. I could lessen my pain a bit. Uh, 
Um, yeah, let's do that. Bring back that diplomat. Yeah, that's okay. Renee was the most annoy obnoxious one. So that's fine. Because they were the ones I couldn't reach. And back to this. We are going to go with the war goal of taking Lisbon. And we don't have any allies anymore. And that's going to be glorious. Joined. They did indeed. He's gonna go there and turn back. Uh, both of Lorenz provinces are fortified, I think. Or not. No, okay, never mind then. Stop there, let's see if we can blow you up before you fight our trade fleets. Sota is taken, let's march you here. Da -da 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 -da. Didn't. Oh, yeah, wrong province. Go over there. here and we're just gonna sit there. I'm fairly certain we're gonna be able to win this one fairly easily. And Salzburg, they do actually have a fair army. If you're hearing sounds in the background, it is my cat going ballistic. Ugh. Found some toy or other. I think. <laughs> yeah, let's send you up here. We're gonna need you to deal with uh, a certain Salzburg again. Salzburgian. Just start there. And we'll move your way towards the forts. Now again, we kind of need to preserve our points. I mean, just taking land would be considerably easy right now. But we really want this before we uh, go overboard with conquering new territory. And we also want to form the Roman Empire because then we get a further reduction. And yes, I do know we have a siege pip general here. But honestly, I don't think we're going to need it because... <laughs> yeah. Because of that. Sadly, Lorraine is actually not willing to make peace, even with that. Uh, Salzburg has only a few forts down that way. I'm thinking we're sending everybody around here, including you. Lithuania, you say? I actually didn't check his age, but that's fine. That also means I can now break some other royal ties I don't need anymore. 
like Anhalt. Uh, I'll take the flat points. And the next idea. Oh yeah, we occupied the one next province down here, didn't we? Yeah. At least one of our colonial states arrived. And let's start building a spy network here. Yeah, the land theft expired, so now this will fire. At least for a month. Tyrannical nobles. Ah, rumble. Fine, turn a blind eye. And I'm only doing this because I want them to be happy until I'm... until I can re-give them states, which can't happen until... Actually, it could happen now. Okay. Um. That would actually be enough, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Okay. Dang it, I didn't have to do that after all. Uh, don't particularly need the manpower. I just let let them be happy for a while. There is undoubtedly going to be some event that's going to lower their happiness, so might as well keep that. You're actually do I have a fort here? I did. Cool. And you're running away. Why indeed? Why are you running away? Huh? <laughs> Uh, just follow you go to Salzburg. Okay. Over here. Onwards. Ever onwards. And actually, you're not taking this? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go there then. You at Siege Pip, keep going that direction. Uh, you stay right here. You stay right there. And you go over to Graz. Seems fair enough. Loren is now willing to make peace. I don't really want anything from you. I don't mind you being a heretic. Because we are going to attack Austria and eat their lands, so better that you're a heretic. How did my spy die? Ah, grumble. Oh, well, we'll send the spy out again and see if we can get more claims. Because we need those claims. November. Ugh. Gonna take a while. At any rate, I do believe it is time for another break, and I'll have to go and check on the cats. <laughs> see what mischief they're up to. At any rate, see you soon. Thank you for watching.